Well, Andy Banner-Price co-owns the award-winning 25 boutique B&B in Torquay and joins us now. Andy, what do you make of the government announcement? Hi there, Laura. Um, I'm really pleased to hear that um, the distance has been reduced from two metres down to, uh, as they're describing it, one metre plus, because that means that the whole of the tourism industry can start to get back to normal, because there's not much point us opening and having guests um, back to the English Riviera if they haven't got places to go and visit or places to go and eat. Um, so it should be uh, a good thing for, for all of us, hopefully, to, to get back to normal. Could there have been more that you would have liked to have seen, you would have heard from, from the Prime Minister yesterday? Um, no, I think they've been quite fair. They've um, There's the still some areas that um that are unable to open properly like um theaters which we, we've got four thriving theaters locally which would have been nice to for them to be able to open to have live shows again but um but i realize that it's it needs to be one step at a time and, and everything needs to be carefully considered and done safely so um i do understand why he hasn't um hasn't been able to to do huge steps but it's still quite quite a big step mm, and all these restrictions that need to be put in place and all you know the, the way that we're all changing i suppose with our lives going forward are you ready for july the 4th yeah, we've been ready for about three weeks. Good for <laughs> um, you. <laughs> the, um, a, a, lo um, a trade association, UK Hospitality, put together some um, some draft guidance for the, the government, which the government have um, hopefully based their their advice when it finally comes the detailed um, get guidance on. And so we, we've based what we've done so far on their guidance and we've produced a, a detailed risk assessment and have a, a COVID-19 secure policy in place and we've done all the changes and adaptions that we feel we need to do both to keep ourselves and our guests safe. What are the big changes that you've had to that you've had to bring in? Um, well I, uh, breakfast uh, when people usually come into our dining room there's uh, I think so. board with a, a huge array of, of kind of buffet items that they can help themselves to under normal circumstances. Yeah. Things like um, fresh fruit salad and my homemade granola and homemade yogurts and things. But all of that will now be a virtual buffet. So they have, um, we've each day we'll print off a photograph of what they can choose. And then I'll physically serve them from, from the kitchen rather than them helping themselves. So that's, that's one of the big changes that we've got. And have you got many bookings already? Uh, we are already full for the weekend of the 4th of July, which is good mm -hmm. news. Um, and then we, we have a smattering of bookings. We're not as busy as we would be under normal circumstances for July and August. But I think a lot of people have waited to, to have this announcement. And then we, from yesterday afternoon, we've already started getting some more bookings in. So hopefully we'll be filling up over the next couple of weeks. Well, good luck because you've got a busy time coming up. I can feel it. I, fingers crossed um, we will still be able to salvage some of this season and, uh, and we'll have a, we need the sun to continue though as well. Well, we'll see what we can do. Kevin's here with the forecast. <laughs> In about 15 minutes, we'll blame him if not. <laughs> Take care. Thank you, Andy. Andy Banner-Price, co-owner of the award-winning 25 Boutique B&B in Torquay, talking about the loss that they've already had uh, so far this year due to COVID-19. But of course, back on their feet from the 4th of July, changes have been made, though. And I'm sure many businesses uh, across Devon will notice as consumers, as customers, will notice these changes as we go about our daily business, I suppose.